Welcome to Women Lab Online Tutorial. Now before us is this question and it reads that x raised to the power of x equals 2 raised to the power of x plus 4. And we are told to find the value of x. Okay, now if you look at the right hand side here, you're going to see that you have 2 raised to the power of x plus 4. Now the first thing for us, whenever you see exponential equation like this, especially in this pattern, all we just need to do is to undo x plus what? 4. But however, let's recall that according to the law of indices, if you have a raised to the power of x plus 4, this will give us what? a raised to the power of x times a raised to the power of what? y. Okay, so this is the pattern to which we can use to undo this. Okay, so here we have x raised to the power of x equals now. On doing this in this pattern, we end up having 2 raised to the power of x times 2 raised to the power of what? 4. Now, the next thing we need to look at now is here we have x raised to the power of x, and at the right hand side here we have 2 raised to the power of x. Now, what we just need to do is to align the variables with the x exponent together. And how do we do that? We divide the right hand side, I mean, we divide both sides of the equation by 2 raised to the power of what? x. Okay, I guess we're getting more uh, closer to uh, a better way of solving this. So, at this point now, let's recall that according to the law of indices, if you have a raised to the power of m all over b raised to the power of what m. Now, so long that as long as they're having the same exponent, this will give us a all over b all raised to the power of what m. Now, let's apply this rule here. So, we end up having x all over 2, r to the power of x, then equals, we are left with 2 raised to the power of what? 4. Okay. Now, at this point now, it is logical, by mere observation, to say x here is 4. Okay, because when it's plugging 4 here, 4 all over 2, we give us this 2, and here we have 4, which will consign with this. Okay? But however, I want to simplify further to be to be certain okay all right so at this point now i want to raise both sides of the equation by half okay and why am i doing this is to have a way whereby both the base and the exponent is the same okay so dividing i mean raising both sides of the equation by half we end up having x all over 2 raised to the power of x then 1 over 2, then equals 2 raised to the power of 4, or raised to the power of what? 1 over 2. And let's also recall that if you have a raised to the power of m, or raised to the power of n, this is the same thing as saying a raised to the power of what? m, n, which implies that the exponent will multiply itself, I mean, each other. So at this point, now we we'll multiply x times half give us what? x over 2. And at this point here, 4 times uh, 2, I mean 4 times half here will give us 4 over 2, giving us what? 2. So which means the whole of this now will be replaced by this, and the whole of the product of this will be replaced by 2. So here we have that x all over 2, now r is the power of x all over 2, okay? Now equals 2, now we we'll replace this for 2. Okay, so you can see at this point now, that we've arrived at the point whereby both the base and the exponent are the same. The base and the exponent are the same. So at this point, since if the left hand side must be equal to the right hand side, it means that each of the terms on the right hand side, okay, must be the same thing as the term on the left, I mean on the right hand side. So we can logically say here that x all over 2 will be equal to what? 2, which means the base here should be equal to what? The base here, and the exponent here should also be equal to the exponent here, okay? Because by comparison, that gives us that logic. So at this point now, we can multiply both sides by 2. Now, this eliminates this, then our x will give us what? 4 as the final answer. Thank you, and God bless you.